Thank you, Mr. President, members of the Senate. If, um, if you represent the, any counties that were impacted by the 2014 ice storm, I would ask that you please come up here and stand with me. And last Thursday, <clears throat> last Thursday, we, um, I took the floor, as many of you know, and talked about the 2014 ice storm because it was three years to the week that the ice storm had impacted the state of South Carolina and a disaster was declared by President Obama and 22 counties in the state were um, disaster areas and 22 counties in the state were uh, impacted financially by the storm immensely. And we've got on this, on this um, video scenes from around the state, from Aiken County to um, Berkeley County to Dorchester, through Orangeburg, all the way into Charleston County. And I think some of the pictures are from Colleton County. In fact, um, the senator from Colleton's here. Um, that show the damage around the state from the 2014 ice storm. And the reason that we're here today taking the floor and wanting the Senate to be aware of this predicament that we're in is that historically, at least in the past several years, the state- Excuse me, excuse me, Senator, let's get you a little bit of order. Senator from Aiken has, has the floor on expression of personal interest. The federal government, through the um, Federal Emergency Management uh, um, Division, um, will pay 75% of the storm-related cost for the state and for the local governments. And there's a 25% match that has to be paid by the state and local governments. And some states, like Georgia and California and others, they already have in place in statute or in regulation what the local governments the percentage that a local government that's impacted in a disaster would have to pay back out of that 25 percent that's not paid by the federal government and what the state would pay in south carolina we don't have any similar type um, written rule in terms of what the state pays and what the local government pays on the 75 on the 25 percent non-federal share is what it's called but what happened in um, the 2014 ice storm is that so far on the 25% match that has not been paid, the state of South Carolina has reimbursed all the local governments in those 22 counties. And when I say local governments, I'm talking about the county governments and the cities that have already incurred expenses in cleaning up from three years ago. It's money that's already been paid in my county my home county of Aiken County, they had to get all the money out of their reserve account, and it almost cleaned out their reserves. Barnwell County, financially, per capita was hit much harder than Aiken County per capita when you look at the numbers because of the population and the amount of the dollars. Senator Hutto represents all of Barnwell County, um, and all of the senators standing around me represent counties that have been impacted by this storm. And these pictures that are on the video show how significant this storm was. In fact, after the storm, the timber damage was estimated at $360 million, and there was 30,000 acres that needed to be clear cut that could not be um, salvaged. It was the second, at the time, it was the second largest natural disaster in South Carolina history, as to the South Carolina forest second only to Hurricane Hugo, which had an economic um, tag, price tag attached to it of $1.2 The Arthur Ravenel Bridge in Charleston was closed for 51 hours for more than two days because of the ice on the bridge. Representative Ken Hodges, many of you know Representative Hodges who serves in the House, represents um, in his district a part of Colleton County. He's, he stated um, that it was the worst damage in Carlton County 
since Hurricane Gracie in 1959. Up, up, that was um, when this occurred in 2014. He said it was the worst damage he had seen in Carlton County since Hurricane Gracie in 1959. 55, 56 years before, 55 years before. There was over $500 million in damage to the state. The power was out in many of our uh, homes in our districts for up to 10 days. The power was out at my home personally for almost a week. It was out for six days. Keller Kassam, many of you know Keller. He's a senior vice president for SCNG. He said and was quoted in the newspaper and the press as saying that the damage to the South Carolina electric and gas infrastructure from the, hurricane, from the ice storm in 2014 was the worst that the company had seen from any weather event in the state of South Carolina since Hurricane Hugo. Governor Haley toured all the counties that were impacted by this and was absolutely amazed at the damage. Of course, this was before the 2015 flood and the 2016 hurricane. Governor Haley sought a federal disaster declaration and it was granted by President Obama. And then, while we were trying to recover approximately two, two, two to two and a half days after this ice storm hit, there was even an earthquake that hit in Senator Massey's home county of Edgefield, and it hit seven miles west-northwest of Edgefield on February the 15th, and it registered a 4.1 on the Richter scale. Now, the reason I wanted to bring this to y'all's attention again today, and all these senators are standing here with me, is because last week when I talk, took the floor and talked about this, it was in anticipation of the House Ways and Means Committee taking up the budget and, and presenting their budget proposal for the state for this coming fiscal year. And yesterday, um, the numbers were released. And it's my understanding that there's not anything in this budget on the House Ways and Means um, side for the Sen 2014 Senator, ice storm. Excuse storms. me, Senator, for making that's That's been five minutes. You want to? Senator from Darlington, for what purpose do you rise? Please state your request. Time. Without objection. Senator from Aiken. So there's not any money in the budget currently as it sits in the House for the 2014 ice storm. Now, um, we've got a slide here, if we can go to it. And I want to show the body why this is important. In, in December of 2005, December 15th and 16th of 2005, there was an ice storm that hit the state of South Carolina, a different ice storm. And in fact, it was the last weather-related disaster as declared by the President of the United States before, in the state of South Carolina, before the 2014 ice storm. It hit seven upstate counties. Senator from Cherokee, it hit Cherokee County, Greenville County, Oconee County, Pickens County, Lawrence County, Spartanburg County, and Anderson County. Senator from Anderson, um, I, I, he and I were talking yesterday about it, and he said he d definitely remembered that storm from 2005. And the reason it's significant is because the state of South Carolina in the 2006-2007 fiscal year budget reimbursed 100% of the local government's money that they had to pay for the 25% match for the federal disaster uh, relief that was provided for those seven counties. And so for nine years, we didn't have a weather-related disaster as declared by the President of the United States. We come forward to 2014 and we have the 2014 ice storm. And to date, three years from the storm, the state has provided 25% of the reimbursed funds. The amount of money that's needed to fulfill the additional 75% to the local governments is approximately $11.5 million. And so I stand here today with my colleagues standing around me, and we wanted to bring it to the attention of the body that it should be a priority of this General Assembly, this legislative session, to fully fund the remaining 75% match for these local governments that were impacted by the 2014 ice storm. We did it in 2005 for the ice storm. We've done it for the 2015 1,000-year flood. 
It's widely anticipated that we're going to do it for the 2016 Hurricane Matthew, and it's all well and good that we should do that for those storms. And in fact, we're going to do it based on the House Ways and Means budget that they passed or that they presented yesterday. We're going to do it, Senator from Pickens, for the Pinnacle Mountain Fire that took place last fall in the upstate. So it's all um, well and good that w all these counties should be fed from the same spoon and we should fund the additional 75 percent in this coming budget or if possible if there's a way to advance legislation between now and um, the budget that finds some money that maybe hasn't been spent in an account that we appropriated last um, June with the budget let's let's do a bill that that finds those dollars and goes ahead and does it before the 2017-2018 budget process. Thank you very much, and I want to thank my colleagues that are standing here with me today and supporting us in this effort. Thank you very much.